Welcome back, everybody. You know, we all know the devastating pandemic numbers, and no city has been hit harder than New York. Um, our next guest actually works the front line there, and she's a patient care tech at Mount Sinai South Nassau, and she's known as 60 and Sassy on TikTok. Check her out. 60 hours, and you know what? We have not lost one patient today. We did an excellent job. Thank you. And we're gonna try it again tomorrow. All right. All right, y'all, well, we have Angie on Zoom right now. Angie, how you doing? I am fine. I'm so happy to see you. I got to pinch myself. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. look beautiful. I need your wardrobe here in Montana. I'm so bland right now. Um, I love your color. It's so, it's so beautiful. But Thank you, you so much. Angie, you say you're known for your personality and your unit, right? Yes. I'm the oldest one there, and I'm a little social butterfly because I was working at a hospital for 18 years, 14 in CCU. So all the little young kids, they come to me for advice about their boyfriend and that kind of stuff. So I tried to do the best I could. It's really, really cool. Um, but how has the pandemic affected your hospital? How do you think? One day went in, there were one patient. When I came back, it was like 400. But everybody came together, administration, Everybody pulled together because we said, we got to get these people better. We got to fight this. And we did it. It was hard. Mm. Some days we cried, but we did it. At the end of the day, we said, you know what? We did the best we could. Oh my gosh, yeah. I need you in my life. You are so positive. Wow. So what, I mean, people must love to come to work just to be near you. <laughs> what's, what's a, Angie, what's a typical day for you like at the hospital through this crisis? Okay, normally I, um, I would do the temperatures, the finger sticks, personal hygiene for the patient, try to make them laugh. If they see them sad, like sometimes there might be a patient in a bed, he's good looking. They would tell the wife, oh my God, he's so cute. You better get better. If not, I'm going to take him home. So I try to make them uh, upbeat and positive. Thank you so much for what you do. Um, I do have a question. How did, how did 60 and Sassy come about? Who, who came up with that? Because I'm 60, and as you can see, I am very sassy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so that's how the name came about. And one of my friends, she said, you know what? Let's go on TikTok, because you lied and said you'll be fine. So that's how the TikTok, I started the TikTok like a month ago. I love it. So is it one of your um, nurse friends that came up with your idea to do TikTok? Well, it's the secretary. Oh, the secretary. That's amazing. Well, she's a genius. Yeah, she's a genius to get you on TikTok. The, the videos are so awesome. If y'all haven't seen Angie on TikTok, you need to check her out. Bored in a house, I'm in the house board. Bored in a house, I'm in the house board. You know what? I got something for you. So if I were you, I wouldn't be bored in the house because this is how you're going to look if you come through those doors. So stay indoors. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. All right, y'all, I'm back with Angie, a patient care tech at Mount Sinai South Nassau in New York. That's one of her hit TikTok videos, spoofing the TikTok challenge, Bored in the House. It's all about encouraging people to stay inside when they can. So Angie, what has been the response to your videos? I love them. People love them and I got such a great response. For example, one guy said he had to go to work and he felt so sad. He was a nurse from the Philippines. Mm. But when he saw my video, he said it cheered him up and he said it gave him hope. And then there was another lady who, a, a family had died and she was very, very upset with the hospital. But when she saw the video and saw how it worked, she, she wasn't angry anymore. She said she knew the hospital did the best they could. And that makes me happy. Of course. Oh my gosh. What a, what a blessing to be like such a light. That's so cool. Your purpose is so cool in life. Um, well, we have someone on the line who fiercely battled COVID-19 in a New York hospital and survived, thanks to the spirit of frontline workers like Angie. So Francine, are you there? Hi, Kelly. I'm so glad to be here. Hi. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, how are you feeling? Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, thankfully. Oh my gosh. Um, well, tell us about your experience because I've, you know, everybody, we all watch the news and we hear such different stories. They're so drastically totally. different and it hits everyone's, you know, system differently. So how was your experience? In late March, I wasn't feeling well. And um, so I took my, my temperature and it was 100.1 and I immediately burst into tears. 
because I knew it was coming. Um, I couldn't get tested. Um, I was told to just ride it out at home. And then a week later, I was struggling to breathe. And um, I ended up on in the hospital on supplemental oxygen for nine days. Oh my um, gosh, that is so scary. I mean, the yes. compassion of the nurses, doctors, and support staff really got me through those dark moments because there were times that I couldn't breathe, and if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would have made it through. Man, I, I agree. And, and I, Angie, how does that make you feel? I'm so happy. It feels like my family has gotten better at like home because they become more family. So I'm yeah. so happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, Angie. Well, I love you. I love your energy and I want to do a little something for you and your hospital. So that's why we're giving Mount Sinai South Nassau $10,000 to help battle this pandemic. I we want to do you. everything we can to help y'all get supplies. Thank you so that's much. Amazing. All right. Well, that's not all, Angie. I'm also sending you a check for $5,000 just to like spend it on yourself. Have a okay. good time. Whoa. Plus, when it's safe to travel again, Beaches Resort is sending you and a guest on the ultimate luxury included vacation to Beaches, Turks and Caicos. You're going to love Turks and Caicos. I love Turks and Caicos. You will experience five nights of luxurious accommodations, global gourmet dining, the best land and water sports, water parks, entertainment, and so much more. It's such a good time. I hope you have such an amazing time with whoever you bring. I'm Absolutely. so happy. Yeah. Oh I hope that's so fun. Well, oh. thank you so much, Angie, for your hard work and positivity. We salute all the hardworking frontline workers out there. And Francine, I'm so happy that you're better. You know, this goes either way with people. You just don't know how, how it's going to end. And I'm so happy that you came out on this side of it. So thank you so much for joining us. All right. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.